Okay, a lot of you guys pointed out something to me. Make sure that my drivers are updated properly. Well, I double checked my drivers. For some reason, it w it didn't update. I had to manually force an update. Once I manually force an update, now it's starting to say 3060 using LHR mode. So that is, that's a good sign. So let's see what it does. Okay, because that's what we're really waiting for. We're waiting to see what it does as far as the hash rate goes. Um, it said that it was running at 70% for the uh, for the mode. So let's see. Just gotta wait for it to update. You gotta let it mine for a little bit. So give me a second and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. 27, almost 28 mega hash. So we're gonna say 28 mega hash on Ethereum at stock settings. So now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to change our settings in MSI After Runner. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go, I'm gonna put my settings to what I would normally put it at for mining. This is uh, what I would mine at my 3060. And we're gonna see what it does over here. Interesting enough, the 3060 dropped to 22 before I even changed the settings. If that's the case, that's not a good sign. So it dropped down. And it keeps dropping, it dropped down to 16. So, that is definitely not a good sign. Um, I'll let it go a little bit more. So that way I can figure out what is going on here. So I put these settings back. I put the settings back on the 3060. And it's sitting at 18. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. We're gonna mess with something and I'll be right back. All right, here we go again. Stock settings on the 3060, 68% is what we're gonna try. Okay, so it did initially take the 70%, but then it dumbed it down immensely. So we're gonna see what happens when we are at uh, 68%. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank the fan speed up because I just, I don't want any, you know, the card to overheat or anything like that. So we're gonna crank the span, uh, span? We're gonna crank the fan speed up to 100 just for this test. And let's see what the 3060 does once it's ready to go. Okay, so at 68%, we're still at 27 mega hash. A little bit less, but I wanna make sure that it's stable. So it hasn't accepted any shares yet, nothing like that. I'm not gonna mess with the settings until I see that it's stable. Okay, so it seems to have stabilized at 28, but the thing is it's not accepting any shares. And I don't know if maybe it's because of the difficulty that's going on right now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start overclocking and I'm going to power limit to see what we can get on this 3060. All right, so we're going over here to MSI and we're going to do my settings that I normally do. So go ahead and let's see what happens to our 3060. Oh look, it finally accepted a share. Okay, so we got it to 29. Let's see it keep going. So would you look at that? It got bumped up to 33.69, nice, mega hash. Uh, the efficiency is 267, and the power that it's using is 126. Now what, oh, it keeps going up. It went up to 34. Interesting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to reduce my core clock. I'm going to reduce the power limit. I wanna see where it starts to reduce the hash rate and uh, where we find our sweet spot on this. And then we'll make our final, final conclusions on this. Okay, so currently with the core clock sitting at zero, the, uh, the memory at 1500 and power limit at 65, the 3060 is sitting at 32 to 33 mega hash. Um, I'm going to reduce the 
power limit some more. Let's go to 60. And let's see how that affects it. That was a weird jump on my 1080 right there. I was not expecting that. Although it kind of, it seemed to have balanced out because it then went over to 31. So it was kind of weird there. But I'll just toss it up as a fluke right there. Although it would have been nice to stay at 53. Holy crap. Okay, so 65 seems to be that sweet spot on the power limit. 65 uh, leaves it at 32 to 33 mega hash. Uh, I'm going to reduce my memory clock just a little bit. Let's put it at 1300. Uh, I just want to see if it makes it easier for for the card to accept jobs if I reduce the um, the memory clocks down. All right, so there you see it. 65 is power limit. Uh, memory clock is at 1300. Sometimes that does affect things. If you have the overclocks too high, uh, then it, it has it has trouble accepting jobs uh, and you know being able to find the blocks and do everything it's, it's supposed to do. Um, so let's see. So sitting at 65 and 1300 on the memory clock, it looks like it's at 32. So 30, 31.99, we're just going to chop that up to 32 because it's going to give or take fluctuate a little bit. Um, I don't know if that's worth it. And I'll tell you why in just a moment here. I'm going to let it do what, it, what it's going to do. So just bear with me. So 33. So 32 to 33, it seems to have stabilized around there. Um, that's not bad. Uh, power is sitting at 110. If I reduce the power anymore, you're, you're looking at a big dip in hash rate. Uh, the effectiveness is nice. The efficiency, I'm sorry, sitting at 301. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, 301, you know, that's no joke. My 1060 is very close to that for, for efficiency. Um, here's the thing, though. The 3060 is still not accepting many jobs. Uh, it, it's it's getting the hash rate, but it's not good. that doesn't really do much if you're not accepting the jobs. So let's go ahead and give my final thoughts here. Um, I don't think it's worth it. At 70% is nice. I mean, look, if you are just doing it because you're just mining Ethereum, then yes, it's kind of worth it. I say kind of because how much are you paying for these 3060s, right? So depending on the cost that you buy them at, at current prices, unless you get really lucky and you're buying these 3060s at MSRP, then okay, fine. If you're getting an MSRP $400, then you're good to go. I got mine at MSRP $400. But if you're not, if you're if you're paying more than that, if you're paying scalper prices for these 3060s, or even not even scalper prices, but say you're paying 500 instead of 400, it's not worth it. You want to know why? Because that 1080 that you see right there, that 1080 is mining Ethereum, 31 mega hash. Uh, I could I could squeeze out anywhere between 30 to 35 mega hash. Um, that 1080 I got for $400. It's an EVGA 1080, and it's doing its job. It's it's accepting the shares and doesn't have any issues. Uh, the 3060, on the other hand, as you can see here, the 3060 is mining just as much as that 1080. So where does that put us? That put us basically at the profitability of a 1080. Okay. So we're here to compare what we were talking about before as to why it's not really worth it as far as the 30 er, the 3060 goes mining ethereum at 68% of its hash rate. Okay, so what we or the conclusion that we came up to was that it mined basically identical to a 1080 and depending on how much you get that 3060 for will change whether or not it's profitable for you to mine on. So there's a couple things, like I mentioned, to take into consideration when it comes to the 3060. The 3060 is much more efficient 
at mining the uh, at mining Ethereum as opposed to that 1080 is okay. But it comes to return on investment, how much you are spending for that 3060 in comparison to buying a 1080. So right here we have a 1080, and we're using nice hash just to kind of round it out uh, because they pay in Bit in Bitcoin BTC. So it makes it easier to uh, to compare it. So anyways, so if we're comparing the 1080, uh, so the 1080 currently mines $2.74 after electricity costs. Okay, so that's $2.74 a day. If we're going to the 3060, and, and the thing is that they need to adjust the 3060 LHR because what it shows is not what it actually is making. It, it's actually making more than what it shows here. Uh, so we'll we'll go to take a look at it, but it's not going to be accurate. Um, it's showing three dollars and thirty three cents a day on the thirty sixty. Now, what it's showing down here, and this is why I said it's not accurate. It's showing down here that people are mining Ergo for the thirty sixty, and the reason why I say that's not accurate is because not all thirty sixty LHRs apparently just LHRs in general. Not every LHR is mining ergo because not all of them get full hash rate on ergo so don't ask me why i don't know what it is some people i get mixed mixed uh, uh not signals but mixed results from different people some people saying that they can mine ergo with a 3060 some people saying that they can't mine it with a 3060 or just lhrs in general so i don't know every card is the same or every card is the same every card is different so i don't know uh but what I look at is Octopus Miner and Kapow. How much is it making on those two? Kapow is not showing here. Uh, so a good example, because the 3060 mines just as much as a 2070 does. Okay, not a super, a, just a regular 2070. And I know this because I have a 2070. That they might variate or fluctuate a little bit in between but it's ne it's uh negligible the difference between the two okay so if i look at a 2070 and again it, it's really weird when it goes to it but see what i say it's very small in, in comparison to the difference so this is three dollars and 32 cents is what the 2070 is mining so 3060 LHR is mining about the same, give or take a little bit, uh, because different algorithms make it more efficient. So this is a regular 3060 mining Ethereum. Okay, I have to point that out. This is a regular 3060 mining Ethereum, not the LHR 3060. The LHR 3060, for some reason, puts it at... Like I said, ergo. So for me, going by what I know, going by what I have mined, my 3060 mines identical to my 2070. Okay. And you, you saw right here, the, uh, the price or the, how much it makes per day is about the same. Uh, so it really doesn't matter. It, it'll go up and down based on the day, based on the algorithm, uh, Kapow sometimes will mine more than, uh, than Octopus Miner will. Um, so it, like some, it, it just depends on, on the way that everything goes. So why does that matter? That matters again, because I'm return on investment. That 1080 that I showed you that is making less money. I got a 1080 for 400. You could get it for less than that. You could it, like it's it's around that that range. The $400 range is the average of a 1080 currently. Hell, you could even get a 1080 Ti. Okay, so if we go to 1080 Ti and we check it out, you get a 1080 Ti mines three dollars and forty one cents a day. So more than the 2070, more than the 3060. Uh, you can get a 1080 Ti for about 450 to 500. Just depends on how lucky you get and how patient you are. So these old cards are still relevant to mine on. And again, you're looking at return on investment. So if you're mining three dollars and 41 cents a day, you're making um, in one month a hundred dollars 
and seven cents. So let's just round to a hundred dollars. At a hundred dollars, you're making your money back in four and a half months. That's not bad at all. That's very doable. But if you're getting a 3060 with the current scalper uh, scalper prices that, that that's going on right now, and you know if you're if you're not lucky enough to get a 3060 at MSRP, it's not really worth it. You're putting your return on investment way out there, considering it's an LHR variant or version two on the 3060. So that's my final conclusion on it. I know it's a rather long video, but I wanted to show you guys the differences between all of. Uh, all of the cards that I have personally, uh, considering how at 68% on Ethereum, it's mining almost identical to a 1080. So keep that in mind. Yes, power differences and efficiency matter. Return on investment matters as well. So keep that in mind. Make the best possible decision for yourself. For me... I'm not going to mine Ethereum on the 3060. doesn't make sense. I make more money mining uh, Ravencoin or Conflux uh, through NiceHash, which means that I'm getting paid in BTC. I'm not getting paid in Ravencoin and Conflux, which then I can use my profits to then buy Ethereum. And that's more efficient for me to do. Uh, not a financial advisor. I'm just letting you guys know now, uh, from my own personal experiences and what is going on, I'm here to learn just as much as you guys are. So I hope you guys found this helpful, informational. Hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and happy mining.